Good morning from the galley of Snow Goose, where I've just installed a new faucet. And this is an Italian brand. It's called Elka, E-L-K-A. And I found these through Scanvic. So what we wanted to do was, this was the original piece. And my wife, Tenley, said, let's get something that just has one, you know, mixing valve and get rid of the older two. And this was a little tarnished and looking a little tired. So we ended up going with this. The thing that you have to do to get a new fixture on the countertop is you've got to drop the sink to be able to get to all the plumbing and the pipes in the back. And that's what I did, and that made it so much easier. So the challenge is to try to connect these pipes together. And luckily, this thread is the same as the Scanvic fitting, which um, all I needed was a nipple. And that's a strange name, but that's really the the plumbing term for it. And it's a it's a it's a threaded uh, part with two two threads on either side. And then I cut it out of starboard on the bandsaw, and then ended up putting it on the router table and knock the edge off with a nice radius. This is about a quarter inch radius, and it just finishes it off nicely. And starboard is so nice to work with. The next thing was to decide exactly where on my little cover plate to put the faucet and so that wasn't very difficult because again I went back to my original fixture and clamped that down to the drill press. I did the dry fit so that I could get everything fitting and making sure it was right because you don't want to get the sealer on there and then realize oops it doesn't fit and then you got it all over the place as you're trying to make it fit. So I do a complete dry fit first and then put the sealer on and I use Total Boat Seal which is just a wonderful sealer. Instead of replacing the sink, took it to my workshop, and with a buff cleaned up, the, cleaned up, well the wire brush, cleaned up the top lip to make sure there was a nice bed there for the new sealer. And then I ended up using Total Boat's Total Buff on a rag and really, really gave it a good scouring and a polishing. And it's amazing how it all came up. So here we are in the head and I've done exactly the same thing here, except that I replaced the basin. This basin was pretty far gone and the plug and so on in the bottom was so rusted out. And I found exactly the right size at Scanvic down in Florida. And it was a matter of just pulling the old one out. I had to make the hole slightly bigger with a router and then just drop this in. And I made the same starboard idea as I did in the galley. The other thing I did was make, put a new shower head in here. Also the Italian brand of Elka.